it's bloody beautiful. The Ivan Ho Dam. going on everyone um, I had to go down to Brisbane from HQ to pick up some Cressy parts so rather than just go for a drive all the way down to like South Bris for just some parts for the Cressy we thought I'd uh, take the big bad Falcon uh, to Willowbank for the test and tune and see what it runs down the strip just for a laugh I reckon it's probably got like a 16 in it totally stock so we'll see how it goes but just gonna cruise down to uh, this place, I've got to pick up a new sway bar for my Crusader. Then we're going to go to a, a mate's place, Jordan. He's building a JZX81. Got to go check that out and uh, maybe pick up some 1J parts off him. And then we're going to go to the test and tune at Willowbank and see what the Falcon can do. The big bad Barra. It'd be nice to get a sort of a bit of a benchmark of what it'll do stock before we start doing whatever we'd end up doing to this thing and uh, actually see, start doing some development in, in drag racing and that sort of thing. So. Should be sweet, should be fun. All right, so this is how our afternoon went. We drove half an hour too far to go to the wrong suburb to get the parts I needed to get. Then we had to drive half an hour back towards Ipswich. So then I was late to Jordan's, so we didn't get much time to do any filming of the x 81 at all. So we just sort of talked shit and then he had to go. And then we got to Willowbank and it's not even test and tune tonight, it's some other race meet. So now we're driving all the way back to HQ. So it was a big roundabout fucking about for not much. So for just a couple of parts. Just a couple of parts, like Yeah. What a pain in the ass. But anyway, so we're gonna go back and see what we can fuck around with and, and do there. But uh, maybe maybe run the Falk down the strip next weekend or something, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Sometimes it be like that. Sometimes it be like it do the way it has. But lately, it always be that way. Yeah, but lately it be always this the way it has been do. All right, so we literally spent about six hours today just driving around for not really much at all, just some damn parts. But making the best of a bad situation, we're back at HQ now. Brendan's out here. G'day guys. How you going? Back at HQ here. Just having a good time. Hey, having a good time anyway. Rex is going to move the cruiser out. They're going to bring up Rex's 31 and basically hopefully get started on putting the new ECU in it, which we've been talking about for a lot of months. So, um, yeah, time to actually get cracking on that. Uh, just some progress that's been made on the cruiser as well. It does have a new brake pedal that's an actual auto brake pedal. So it's got like a full brake pedal and also has now radio over radiator overflow bottle. I'll do an actual V80 update one day soon. Guys, the uh, missus bought me a new turbo for my birthday last week. For the Cressy, this turbo I wanted for the Cressy. So, uh, hold out for the lady that buys you turbos for your birthday, guys. She's out there. Don't what give up hope. Let me break down what it is for the fellas at home. All oh, right, this here is a eBay spec T66.84 T4 housed turbo. And it does pump air, and it's going to pump air into my standard LS1 in my Cressida and do smoke burnouts. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yep. So basically, for you guys who don't know, it's kind of like a drill. So like a speed drill, you plug it in, you pull the trigger when it's spinning, and it's spinning, it's really, really spinning. Oh, nice! There she is, look at her in all the glory. Shining bright like a star, sky and the star and it's got... It's, yeah, <laughs> So this bloke's just this random fan that wanted us to teach him about cars, oh, so here we are. that fucker. That's what I have to get out. What is it? That is an oil pressure sender. Oh, okay. And then what, do you plumb like a sample line into that into a fucking... No, I put, a, a, I put a different sender in it. Oh! It shows how much I don't know about this stuff. Absolutely it does. Alright, so what's actually going on here is... We keep having a lot of oil pressure issues with this engine. Uh, we both have basically theories that it's to do with the remote oil filter relocation and cooler setup. Um, when I bought mine for my RB30 off eBay, 
The actual block that goes onto the block where the oil filter used to go has uh, like a double-sided spline for you to basically put in there and put the block on that diverts your oil. Uh, when I bought mine off eBay, that thread was way too deep and it actually covered like a whole lot of the return side for the oil gallery. So I actually cut mine down and I'm pretty sure maybe Rexus hasn't got that and maybe that's why it's having oil pressure problems, but uh, we're just going to put a actual proper oil pressure sender where it's meant to go on the block to an aftermarket gauge so we can keep an eye on what's actually going with the oil pressure. Once we know that the oil pressure is good, then we will go ahead and basically change out the, uh, the ECU and that and go ahead with what we're doing. But if it is having oil pressure issues that are outside of what we think, we need to find them before we go uh, pumping way more boost into it and changing the churn and all that because it's just going to end in tears. So anyway, that's what's going on here. Spainer is too long. Cut it in half. <laughs> Bend it. Works uh, right in there. Yeah, it is, Brendan. It's very deep. Very, very deep in there. Oh, so deep. Oh, she's real in there. Mariana Trench deep. How about them, Mr. You've got a rolly chair, don't you? How about me sitting down, Mr. Standing Up? Yeah, look how well you drive that. Look at me go. That's why we don't let you drive posty bikes or cars. Oh, fuck off. You look like sandpaper, cunt. <laughs>the first step was to check this gauge on the original sender and this gauge did the exact same thing that the other gauge did where the oil pressure was doing these ones so we know that that's bad so we know that the gauge inside the car is not the problem now so 
We're currently replacing the sender in the remote oil filter block and I will see if that changes the uh, oil pressure fluctuation. If it does, we know that this one here that I pulled out is a faulty sender. Uh, if it doesn't, then I'm actually very concerned about the fact that this might be fluctuating oil pressure just everywhere, and that will be a very that would be issue. very bad. It would be bad. Oh, yeah, bad, yeah, bad, yeah. Bad, bad. So we've had a problem with this guard rubbing, so we're going to take our very expensive trade quality guard roller, and we're going to sort that out. Precision sort of movement. I know that it's it is rubbing at the top here somewhere, but basically right at the very very top. So we're going to concentrate on the top right here. So talk about precision adjustment. Ready? Honestly, the hardest part is trying to swing a hammer properly around these pesky old rear brakes. You know what's funny? I remember doing exactly this while my skyline was on a jack out the front of mum's face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's try a wheel on that. So if you wanted to completely bypass the issue we're having here, you could just buy an adjustable pan hard. Obviously, that's not what we are about. Uh, said buy. We already have a hammer. That's, that's not what we're about. We're about bashing the fuck out of the guards until it works. Well, you said you have to buy a pan hard. I have a hammer already. And so far it's been free. Don't look at the paint though. Just, just don't. So don't it. listen to them guys. You don't need an adjustable pan hard at all. You just need to bash it with a hammer. I love that you act like it's not cool. He put a handsaw in the guard. The guard's got a handsaw. There was no handsaw. How are you gonna in see the guard. them? Oh, what a dumb guy. Hey. So, with the engine oil pressure oh. issue, I've no idea. We tried. We are none the wiser as to what's going on with oil pressure. We in tried. This. I tried the sensor in a couple of different spots. Um, I've confirmed that the gauge itself is fine. So I don't know what's going on with the oil pressure. I've abandoned that for now and lifted it up and we, uh, we, we rolled the guard and now we just need to basically <laughs> take it for a quick test drive and see if that it still rubs. It's like uh, when like Tobey Maguire is like, I'll get pictures of Spider-Man and you're like, ah, aha, it's like fuck off dude. <laughs> You goddamn morons. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. have you done? Oh no. What's oh, happened? Oh no. That's unfixable. Yeah. <laughs> what? But that is, yeah, that's pretty bent. Nah, she'd be right. Well, there's no oil coming out of your oil cooler that I can see that's obvious, which is yeah. not. I'd like to point out that that, um, that right rear tire didn't rub. 
is all good. We achieved our goal for the night. Yeah. So we can happily go to sleep and uh, everyone can sleep well tonight.